up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart of the Brazilian stock market, uh, long-term chart, monthly, but I wanted you to see all of the ABCD patterns that are there, the big one right on the bottom, and you can see that long-term trend line that's coming down, and it could be getting ready to break to the upside. The reason why I pointed it out is because you can see, this is monthly now, you can see all the ABCD patterns that are in here, uh, three eight twos, all of these things, because all these markets act pretty much the same. Okay, off on a sad note. Uh, the last several days uh, since Friday, I've been uh, communicating with Tom O'Brien via Zoom, uh, with into uh, David Paul's hospital room, folks. This man, uh, when I met him in April, uh, came, came to Vegas and uh, for the money show, and uh, I got to visit with him, and he was 165 pounds, spry as a fox. 68 years old and folks I was going to post a chart a picture of him today but I, I didn't want that memory uh, I've got the memory you don't need it anyway here he is uh, he looks like he's 95 he's down to 90 pounds and he has an extended abdomen because his liver is failing because of the pancreas but anyway what a great man and I don't think it'll be very long so say some prayers so he can make a pass passing on to the next life uh, really good so uh, I, I think it's important that we give him some support here because he's really a really a nice fellow. Okay, let's get off to something a little bit weird. I'm going to talk to you just a tiny bit, folks, about what's going on in the world with artificial intelligence. I'm going to start with this picture here uh, because I, you know, I don't know, I don't know anything about art. Is the probably the biggest understatement of the year, but this is a uh, Batista. Um, I, I, Bastier, I think it's yeah, it's a it's a Bastier. It was it was painted in 1982. It sold for ten thousand dollars in 1982, and uh, Ken Griffin, who runs Citadel, bought it uh, two years ago for 115 million dollars. Um, I think my five-year-old grandson can do just about as good as job. But the thing about art, folks, it's only for the very, very rich. And what it's done is with hidden symbolisms. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that was relayed to me from somebody over in Switzerland on Saturday. He happens to be a very astute person with uh, artificial intelligence and also with uh, uh, the markets and stuff. But he showed me a picture of someone very famous, a very famous actress. Actually, it was one of uh, Tom Cruise's ex-wives, Nicole Kidman. And Nicole Kidman was uh, in a artificial intelligence uh, program. And it was done by someone who, knew, who, who didn't know Nicole Kidman, that knew her voice and knew her picture. And from that voice and picture, the AI program built N Nicole Kidman into his website as his girlfriend. Folks, I'm not going to tell you all the stuff that I saw, but this thing is flat out scary. I mean, you think about blockchains and some of the stuff we don't understand, but when I saw this, I said, my goodness, they could take, uh, they could take anything, anybody, and it would make it, it's, it was so real, folks, I could not, I could not believe what I was seeing. It was, it was actually the same thing. I, I was shocked. And, well, I don't care if they call it plagiarism or not. I'm sure it is. But uh, that's, 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 that's what happened. They just rebuilt the whole thing. And they, ha they have it for sale over there. I don't know if they have it for sale over here. But I think it was $1,000 to build yourself a girlfriend or whatever you want to do, a, a golfing mate or whatever you want to do. I mean, it's, it's available out there. That's why it's scary. So whenever you see stuff out there, be real careful because what you think you might be looking at might not be what you're seeing. Let's get back to the markets, but that's why 
I, uh, I'm, you know, it really shook me up to see that because, my goodness, I didn't think technician, technical stuff had gone that far, but, but it certainly has. Uh, here's an interesting chart here that uh, um, Rich Anderson sent to me here. That, of course, we've made new highs now in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We have not in the S&P nor in the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has been back and forth, up and up and down today. But let's just get up here. I wanted to show you the difference here. But this is a place where where you can see the, the, the relationship between bonds and stocks. Okay, we're in an area here. Look at this, folks. Look at these ABCDs. If you see these ABCDs on the downside, why don't they work ABCDs on the upside? This means there's a big divergence between people putting money in stocks and into, into, into bonds. Big deal. All you have to do is look at a bond chart, and you can see it's going down. You look at a stock chart, you can see that it's going up. What's interesting is that you have all these nice little ABCD patterns in this because they're measuring something that is measured in dollars. And also, whether it's relative to bonds or not, that's what it's measured to. Now, I still believe I, – I go back to – well, what time we got? We've got two minutes to go here. I want to cover this because uh, I think it's very, very, very important. Here, here was our projection today. For the these are things that we're going to be doing on the, um, the live trading thing on the second of August. You can get that. Just go to the TFNN website and sign up. Uh, we're going to make some money, I believe. We've got some really cool stuff that uh, I think you're going to enjoy seeing. But if you'll take a look at that, oh, what happened to the chart? Larry, 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 Larry. I have it right here. All right, give me a second here. Let's get this up here. I'm not going to make it for the break. I'm afraid, but. Let's just get it here one more time, and we'll see if we can get it up here. This is the crude oil chart, folks. This is what we we're expecting to see in crude oil today. You'll notice here that the 78% level was right here. Here's where we were coming in, okay? And here's where we are right now. But what I wanted to show you is what we were doing is trying to outline what was going to happen to crude oil today, given the fact that we had this really neat pattern lined up. So all we did was we lined this up. I uh, get this up here so we can see it real easily. And this is just a uh, shorter term version. Looking over the last few days, here was the overnight low right here. This was a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern coming in right there, uh, just about the uh, 76 level. And you can see what's happened there. The big move here was the big sell off here. We dropped a dollar ten a barrel. That was exactly 382% of the low that we made back here on Friday to the tick. And boom, away it went. I had an order sitting in there, folks. I missed it by, by three pips. I even shaded a little bit, and I still missed it. But anyway, that's what's happened. But now we're right up against that ABCD up there now at uh, 7837. Uh, now, if you believe in ABCDs, you sell it at 7837. You put a 60-pip stop on it, and... They're going to win about two-thirds of the time. The other third of the time, they're going to lose. That's the bottom line of what we're doing when we're watching these things. There's not anything else you can do about it because trading is all about how much you lose, not how much much you make. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level introducing tom o'brien's award-winning newsletter market insights your key to successful active trading tom o'brien renowned for his expertise in the financial markets has designed market insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades tom publishes his daily market insights newsletter every market day before the market open along with updates when warranted stay ahead of the game with tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out market insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, folks, uh, several people have asked me, how does ABCDs work, you know, during the dot-com bubble? Okay, I posted the monthly chart of the S&P, and if you go back and look uh, from 95, I think it was 95, 96, uh, all the way up until we topped there in 2000, then the NASDAQ gave 80% of its uh, money back from that level, but there was an ABCD pattern right here. You can see it on the monthly chart. Now, if you looked at it, from a smaller time frame during that time, you'd be able to look at some things. But the reason why I think it's so important, if you look at this big pattern, you'll notice the, the bottom here on March the 5th of 2009, uh, that, that completed a giant A, B, C, D pattern. You can see it right there. There's A, B, C, D, and that led to a monster move here. I, I, I was start started to write the newsletter and stuff back in uh, no, I think it was October of 2007 when I started for TFNN and we got to March of that year uh, the Bradley model of course was turning up and we had that giant number there that number was also a 61 percent retracement of the low in the Dow from 1987 that 87 uh, stock market crash low on October the 20th of that year uh, was right at that same number of triple sixes, as I recall. Anyway, uh, from that level, the market just continued to go. And I said in the letter, I said, this will be the strongest um, rally in the stock market since 1938, which was a big one. But uh, this one has went, this is not a rally. This has been the biggest bull market in the history of the world. And it's continuing to this day as we continue to speak. Much to my surprise, because I really thought we topped on Friday, just like I did last Friday. And, of course, the Dow Jones went up and made it high. We made a 61% retracement in the S&P and uh, just barely made a 382 in the NASDAQ. So there's a little divergence going on there. As, as uh, Basil would say, it's a, it's a bifurcated market. But there's one other thing that I want you to notice here. You'll see this area right here. This was the big correction. Uh, this was we ran up into 2011 and we came down for about five months into July and I was in uh, uh, Clearwater with uh, Tom O'Brien. We were doing some uh, seminars, I believe, and uh, he let us use his penthouse uh, uh, above the uh, in one of the condos there. It's a beautiful place there. And Sarah and I uh, were staying and we look over the, the railing and we could see the sharks 
in the water, and it was it was really cool. And so we stayed there for a couple of weeks and had a lot of fun and did some. They call it work, but it was really fun for us. But that was a very, very important time because that low was in July of 2011, as I recall, that it uh, was making a 382 retracement at that time. And it was also making a 78% retracement of the low that it made uh, eight months previously. So there was a lot of support coming in there with a major ABCD. And as you can see, once it took off, it uh, never looked back. But uh, this market has been, without doubt, the biggest bull market in history. There's a lot of people that say it has stopped. Some people say it hasn't. doesn't make any difference, folks. I look at patterns. That's all I look at, and that's all I want to do. So I'm going to go down memory lane here for you one more time, and this is something you might want to watch. You don't necessarily have to, but if you want to, you can. This is a chart of the Christmas soybean oil. This is the one that this is the one that I started dealing with way back in uh, 1976. Uh, uh, well, it's late it was January 76, and it was in the end of June of that year that I, end, I ended up getting out. And the reason why I was getting out at that time was the same pattern that we're seeing here right now. We're in the midst of a big drought. This move we're having today, this $3 move in soybean oil, is mainly due to what happened in the Ukraine overnight. Uh, in Crimea, where the, the, the ports are, where they bring in all the uh, uh, edible oils, uh, canola, palm oil, soybean oil, and they're shipped out of there. That Those ports were attacked, and I don't know how much badly they were damaged, but you can see the market uh, thought it was very, very bullish, and we've had a heck of a run up to the upside. But if you'll notice this, this has a double ABCD pattern, and you can see that last bar here on the end. I always tell people, I said, you don't have to try to pick a top here. Wait till the market breaks and then look for that first retracement back. But we've got several of these coming in here at this 65.40 level. Uh, last time I saw the high was 65.60. And uh, but this is really, really bullish action. And But this is a double ABCD pattern. We'll be following this one because it's something that uh, – you know, you only have to risk six hundred dollars, folks. And believe me, when this thing when this thing does turn, it'll it'll move many many times six hundred dollars. It'll go very very quickly. You remember what happened to wheat, folks? Remember when wheat was thirteen dollars, and nobody wanted it? Isn't that amazing? And it gets all the way down to six dollars, and guess what? Everybody wanted it. So let's take a quick look at what's going on here with the wheat today, because wheat's up fifty sixty cents, which these are, folks, the price of bread and stuff is going to go through the roof. So with price of meal going up, that means the price of eggs are going to go up. As Also, the price of chickens. <laughs> All that stuff is going to go higher. So get ready. I'm very, very bullish gold, and I'm very, very bullish silver. I'm waiting to buy them. It came within a, a hair's breadth of my buy today. I uh, had a buy-in at 1958. It got to 1958.50. I hadn't checked lately what it's doing, but uh, let's just double-check out. It's still trading. Uh, they're telling me it's trading at 18, 1962. I'm still waiting to see if I can get that last four or five dollars down to see if I'm able to, uh, you know, get that uh, working for me. So that's what I'm paying a close attention to. Okay, now also the currencies, folks. We've been very, very fortunate in the currency markets, but we're getting very, very close that you want to be uh, thinking about covering your position, but not quite yet. Let me get this. Let me get this pattern up here so that you can see it clearly. And then uh, I hope you'll see it clearly. Uh, yep, here it is right here. This is the shorter term pattern here in the uh, the British pound. Now, we sold it way back here. Our third position was put on right here, folks. But now you see We've made a one three five a three drive to a bottom pattern. A one three five is the one like this. All we've done is just we've moved our stop up into this area right here. So that if it gets there, we are going to be out of all three positions. And I know some people didn't put all three positions on; they took profits. But that's what we tried to do was to add some to see if you can you know get a big win. This happens to be a lucky one. The same thing with the euro. If you remember on Friday when we were talking about the euro, when it was down there at that one, uh, 109 and change, uh, 
uh, yeah, one oh, I think it's one oh, one oh, one ten, one oh nine, yeah, one ten. It's one ten, and it said it was stopped right at two days in a row. It stopped right at the three eight two retracement, and one of the things that the three eight two retracements is important for is it's a real precursor of trend change. And both on the upside and the downside. So when that 382 breaks to the downside with an ABCD failing at the same time, it tells you the market is being pulled down by a larger cycle. Those are the kind of things that we're going to be talking about on August the 2nd to try to, you know, line up, you know, some of these trades. And we're going to be doing some trading. We'll probably do at least five trades uh, and we'll see how they work out. We're going to take a break here. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm pleased to announce that we've got Rich Anderson in the house today to talk to us about these grain markets. Rich, we've got something going on in wheat and soybeans and corn. Uh, can you tell the folks what you're looking at as far as what's happened in Ukraine and the supply of wheat and corn and soybeans and some of these other things? Well, let's start with Ukraine first. Uh, good morning, Larry. Glad to be here. Um, in Ukraine, you know, the Russians have basically said, you know, we're closing the corridor. 
And then to just drive a nail into it, they bombed all the uh, ports and uh, made it kind of a moot point because, you know, if you can't load out ships, uh, Mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to export through a corridor anyway. So to give the guys an idea, Ukraine is kind of is responsible for approximately 5% of the world trade in corn and 10% of the world trade in wheat. And keep in mind that right now, the exporting country's inventory of wheat is at a 16-year low. So, yeah, the, the guys that were dependent upon Ukrainian wheat all of a sudden now are, are short cash and have to go someplace else to cover and and it just really jumbles things around. Mm. So that that's that's the story there, and and it's tightened things up. And take uh, India as an example has put an embargo on. They're one of the major exporters of rice in the world, and they put an embargo on forty percent of the rice that uh, they normally send out. So um, there's all kinds of countries starting to react to making sure that they have food security for their own country. In fact, Russia is. Is holding back some of their, its wheat to make sure it has food security, and the ones that uh, you know need it the most are just left out in the cold. But wow. to top that off, then you've got the, the drought concerns, which are, are very real. And in 2012 was the last major drought we had. After that, the corn seed company to tons of dollars at improving the drought-resistant genetics of the seed corn. And we're going to see how well that uh, occurs this year. But at last year's sample, Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota, and Nebraska each produced a, over a billion bushels of corn, which was 56% of uh, last 2022's crop. Well, you've got the good to excellent in Illinois down 29% from last year. I don't think they're going to be able to come back. And, and that you've got this massive heat coming in for the next week. Then a week, the next week, and it starts to cool off. But, you know, down 29% in good to excellent versus a year ago, you got a problem. Iowa down 17%, you got a problem. Minnesota down 8%, you got a problem. And that's three of the four major mm-hmm. um, producing states. Nebraska is so so, well, they, they irrigate an awful lot of the corn in Nebraska. But when, if you have this heat uh, hit the corn plant, when it's in pollination, that dries out the pollination, and it, it at the very least won't fill all the way out to the end of the of the cob, and it's mm-hmm. going to affect yield. Now, the August 12th crop report, the government typically just projects their yield based on you know straight line data. It's mm-hmm. not until September that they actually have crop scouts that are out that are going to take samples from fields that they've sampled for the last several years and compare them and mm-hmm. have a real good idea of what the yields are. Everybody's looking at the weather. The GFS has been drier than and hotter than the Euro model. Uh, the Euro model has mm-hmm. started to lean a little bit more towards the GFS. Anything more than 10 days out has not been very accurate at all this year. The thing I've noticed about the weather is the persistence. Once we get something going, it persists. Um, September is the, or excuse me, August is the month for, for soybeans. So right now we're dealing with the corn situation, but in August we're going to need some rain, so we're going to have a real problem in the beans because we just didn't put the acres in this year. And to give you an idea, the domestic demand for soybeans, the crush yesterday, Larry, was like three dollars and forty-seven cents a bushel. Back wow. When you and I used to spread crush, you know, <laughs> 50, 60, 70, 80 cents was high. I it's know. only in the last year that we've got these kind of numbers, uh, mm-hmm. and that has to do with renewable fuel and renewable diesel. So we've got a very interesting uh-huh. situation, and when the weather does change, the traders won't wait for the, the rain to hit the ground. They'll already be, you know, oh, sure, trading sure. it. So it's, yeah, Rich, you, you remember. Uh, want to use stops or, or have options yeah. that protect your futures positions, you know, synthetic put. Yeah. You remember back in 76 when we were long beans and oil and stuff uh, and fighting against uh, Willard Sparks at Cook Rain uh, for those seven months, it went straight up and he was thinking it was going to go straight down and uh, same type of a thing. But when, Rich, 
<laughs> oil was at 22 cents a pound. Now it's at 65 cents a pound. I mean, my goodness, oh, I, mean, I don't know how people can afford August cooking oil. New highs for the year yesterday. I yeah, think it got right. up even higher than that. I mean, yes, it did. It went higher right today, now, but yes, I believe it uh, got up towards 69 cents. It's, it's, yeah, it did. It's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. And that there's no way that that's going to change in the next year because the number of yeah. acres planted, that's history. You know, we're dealing yeah. with X number of acres, and now the only variable is the weather, and we better hope we get some decent rains in August or yeah. Yeah. it'll be a really hot uh, market come August. Well, I am, yeah, I think it might be just really scary for some of these foreign countries and like in Africa where they rely so much on, you know, exported stuff coming in. And, uh, boy, there's not going to be any too much to export, I don't believe. What about China? What are they doing? Are they buying yet or what, what's going on there? And also South America. What's mm -hmm. happening there, Rich? Well, in South America, you've had some improvements there. They've got uh, approaching, I think, 57 or uh, I think it's 47% of the corn crop, the Sabrina corn crop has been harvested, which uh -huh. is behind last year's. The weather's improved some in Argentina. Argentina was the, the country that had the weather problems this year, and, and, and there are significant problems, but the weather has improved there. And Brazil, it's, it's got the bumper crop. So bottom line is our corn is still high versus the rest of the world, and so they're, they're not coming here. You know, China... Uh -huh is a good trader and you know they'll they'll trade for value they'll go where there's value they the other thing uh i might mention you know the there was a wheat tour in fact i had dinner with one of the guys going to be in the wheat tour tuesday through thursday out in north dakota and western minnesota and that's the hard red spring wheat which was you know we used to call it the minneapolis wheat but it's hard red spring wheat and they just last week had the Canadian wheat tour, and they lowered their crop by 4.6 million metric tons versus what the government, the USDA, had for Canada at 35 million metric tons. And this tour estimated it at 30.4 million metric tons. So, you know, wheat's tight, oil's at new highs, um, the, the corn is vulnerable. The, the corn that hasn't pollinated and, the, you know, that gets hit with this kind of heat, and the kernels are filling, um, I have a hard time imagining how it won't impact how much of the length of the corn cob it'll actually fill out and affect the yield, I believe. Okay. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, my friend, and we'll have you on again soon. We appreciate the feedback. All righty. Watch the wheat. It's going up. Oh, yeah, Bye -bye. it certainly is. I'm watching it going now. <laughs> it's going up a buck. I, I think so, without a doubt. We'll do that. We'll do that pattern when you come back, folks. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've put a chart up here of the, oh dear disappeared just a second i'll be right back with you hold on i boy we've had another storm here the distance on the side uh, last night it was very small compared to what happened a week ago uh, last monday but we have all of our electricity is finally uh, up and running uh, the uh, they don't have the lines completely built but uh, this is the dollar move that rich was talking about remember folks now last year Remember last year in May, corn, uh, wheat was at $13 a bushel, and everybody wanted it. And when it got down to $6 a bushel, nobody wanted it. This is how these markets work, folks. you got to be buying when they're crying and selling when they're yelling. And they're yelling right now. You can see here we've got another $0.80 cents to go here uh, in this ABCD pattern in the wheat market. And then what will happen is, this is a daily chart. If you go back and look to see where the previous 382 levels were, you're going to be seeing this is nothing more than a rally in a bear market. You know, there's a lot of countries that do a lot of exporting, especially you've got Brazil, Argentina, those countries down there do quite a bit. And even Mexico does quite a bit and Canada does quite a bit. So there's, there's going to be food around. There's going to have to be paying up for it because it's a drought. We're having trouble. You know, that's all there is to it. We've been alluding to that for quite some time. But, you know, that makes no makes neither here nor there. You know, you've got to be able to feed your family and stuff. So as I go through the market uh, this weekend, I saw eggs at eight ninety nine dollars uh, a dozen. I um, I don't use many eggs, so eight ninety nine is not going to be a, a hard thing to do. But by golly, that's still you stop and think of these people going through the line with uh, two carts, and I saw a lady pay $699, uh, just shy of 700 bucks, of two carts full of stuff for her family of three boys, and uh, young boys from, uh, I think they were from six through 13, and she says it'll last about three weeks, two to three weeks, and believe me, she wasn't buying high cuts of meat either. This was, you know, really stuff that uh, they, they live and die by. Okay, I wanna go back here and talk just a little bit because I'm still fighting with this move here in the market because uh, we've gone up and uh, almost made the, yes, we did. Hold on one second. We did make a new high in the Dow Jones today. Let's get this up here. Uh, you know, folks, this pattern has, has continued to go higher. Uh, that means it hasn't turned down yet. And the fact that we're up 200 and some points in the Dow uh, earlier today, and we're back up here. How many days it's going to stay here? I don't know, but this is a completed pattern. And remember, folks, this is a this is a big deal, and uh, you know, at least I think it is. I mean, you know, I mean, look at it was a big deal down here when nobody wanted it, right? Now it's a big deal up here, and nobody wants to sell it. So that's that's what the problem is. But you got to keep nibbling at it because you don't know which one of the times the the uh, when it's going to turn. Look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones makes new highs today. We make a 61 percent retracement in the S and P up there at. Uh, 45.89, uh, 
and 4590, and uh, the, the NASDAQ is just barely hanging on to try to make the 382. So it's it's a, as Basil would say, it's a, uh-oh, it's a bi bifurcated market. Oh, dear. I had uh, some problems with some data that just flashed up on me. I hope it's not going to affect what, what I have to do here. So give me one second here. I have two other charts that are very, very important here before we end up our session today. Uh, this is the one that I have watched for a very long time. The difference is, let's get it up here. This is the the, uh, the Magnificent Seven, but the Magnificent Seven is, um, this was as of um, the 30th of May, folks. Now, we went through all of June, two weeks of July with this thing screaming up here, so it's probably way up in here. In other words, it, it destroyed the highs of January of 2022. And uh, that, that was a big deal. And we've certainly done that with Microsoft and Apple and some of the others. Now, I would like to spend just a moment here because I think it's important to look at some of the Dow stocks, okay? Because not all of them are, you know, uh, hitting the home runs. Let's just take a look here. First one we're going to look at here is the Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Someday I'll tell that joke, but uh, I'll have to remember the punchline. Anyway, you'll see here, this has been doing the same thing. Now, it was down for three days, and now it's up a little bit today. Okay, now, there's some, some others here that are really making the Dow move. These are the ones that made the Dow move last week, okay? Let's start out with Caterpillar, related to, you know what, grains and all that stuff. You'll get this up here because this is the guys that use the uh, tractors and stuff, the combines to, uh, well, when I did that stuff, we used horses. Anyway, that you'll see here. Uh, get this up here so you'll be able to see. Ah, uh, no, that's not good. Hold on just a second. I don't know what happened, but. Uh, okay, now we're going to try to get it up there without too much trouble. And here it is. This is a chart of Caterpillar. You can see these past few weeks, it was just basically straight up. And I was down here a day or so. But if you take a look at the other ones that I have here, uh, Goldman Sachs, very, very interesting one because it, all of these are completing patterns, folks. The reason why I bring this in is because I don't know if Goldman Sachs is still uh, up to or if, if it's up today. It needed to get up just a little bit to make the exact 61 percent retracement. And with the Dow up 200, I don't know which one of those stocks it is, but I went through all of them. I went through the, even the ones that don't count, you know, because there's so many, you know, triple digits in the Dow now. I think there's 15 of them, but then there's others that you know, are not, uh, not they're, they're not worth. But Intel used to be a big one, and now it's basically nothing. So that's what you got to realize. It's price weighted, and it's not cap weighted. So there's a big difference. That's why United Healthcare, and let's put up United Healthcare. You're going to see what a monster this has been, and where it stopped. Now whether that's going to mean much but just just look at the vertical move that it had here in the past five or six weeks i mean just boom just straight up now that was maybe catching up with the rest of them but we're still in a long-term downtrend in united healthcare and i don't know if it's taken out that high yet or not today but that's that's what you're dealing with when you're looking at some of these things okay so that's part part of it let's do one other one here that we have that i think is important because i did them all because i wanted to see which ones let's do um Let's do uh, J.P. Morgan, and uh, that's always a nice one. Here's, again, the same thing, making a beautiful sell pattern. Folks, i tell you what I did. Of all the stocks that I looked at, I couldn't find one that I wanted to buy based on patterns. Now, you know, I <laughs> I miss some sometimes, but this is a – look at that. That's a, right up at the 78% level. I can't find any that's making a beautiful ABCD to the downside or anything like that. Nothing at all. So anyway, that's why I bring these up here to show them to you because I don't see any bullishness in here, but the rest of the world does. So until that happens, we had a heck of a day today in our short. We were short gold. It worked really good. Short the British pound. That worked extremely well. Uh, we had uh, one other one that was really good. I'll think of it in just a second. Cattle worked really good today. And there was one other one that we had that was pretty good, and I can't remember what it is because we had four positions. Oh, the euro. Euro. That's still making new lows right now. Hey, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart of that December uh, soybean oil uh, for a reason, and that is uh, when that happened in 1976, uh, in uh, July of that year, the quotes coming off the Reuters machine. Remember, we didn't have all this fancy computer stuff. It was all through Reuters uh, that we got most of our information, and there was no Bloomberg or anything like that. But anyway, it, it basically said that the only soybean oil and soybeans that you'll be able to find will be in the Smithsonian Institute. I swear to you, that was it. I wish I had saved that. Uh, I, that was one of the few quotes I should have saved through the years. That was one of the bigger ones. But anyway, that's why, you know, it was a time, and I was just trading ABCDs, folks. It saved me that time. Whether it's going to help me this time or not, I don't know. I just trade the patterns. That's all I do. And I wanted to share one other one with you because the NASDAQ is still down. It hasn't even made a 382 retracement from one of these uh, periods that we had here. Get this up here so you'll be able to see it here. There it is right now. Ah, that's the NASDAQ. What I did was it's the long-term weekly. If you do the daily yourself, we don't have time here because we've only got a minute. We have been down now for, for three days. Uh, actually, it's the fifth day down in the NASDAQ and all the little rally that we're having a rally right now, of course. But it's uh, just doing, hasn't even made a 382 of any of those numbers. So, you know, it's really lagging the market. I remember, it's the one that led it up. But, you know, the other things are still going up. So everybody's still got money to buy and they're going to keep buying. But when it's over, and maybe it's never going to be over, but when it is over, 
then it's going to be very, very fun to be on the short side. But until that happens, it's probably not going to be very fun. But that's it. So we trade other things and see how they're doing. So uh, let's live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And what we'll do is we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Our guest will be, I believe, Jeff Huge tomorrow of Alpha Insights. Always has some great stuff. And it'll be fun to uh, listen to what uh, Jeff has to say. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Building wealth 